Hey everyone, I'm Linda Loveland. We are here in Cleveland County with Ashley Bridges McMurray, Guernsey Girl Creamery. Beautiful sunny day. Happy to see the sun yes. after a few days of clouds. But uh, tell us a little bit about your farm first. Uh, so I am a third generation dairy farmer. Uh, my grandfather started the dairy back in the late 50s. So my dad took over and about 10 years ago he decided that he wanted to move on to something else. So I was fortunate enough to be able to, uh, to receive a grant to be able to um, process our milk instead of selling it to a co-op. So, um, so we're 10 years into that now and we continue to grow and our, our customer base has grown so much over the years. And then now we're we've, uh, changing it up and doing some new products. Uh, so we're keeping with the tradition, but we're also um, keeping with uh, uh, the small type of, of farm that we kind of always have had. Well, that's your Ask a Farmer segment uh, in our magazine. We talked about that a little bit, like how do you, because this farm has been around for a while, how do you preserve your, your farm family's tradition, but then still change and be able to um, be sustainable in this day and age, and, but still preserve all of that? What have you done like a, as far as, uh, you know, around your farm? I know you have a lot of events here too. So. Yeah, for me, it all goes back to the cow. The Guernsey cow was uh, what my grandfather started with. It was very uh, special to him. Uh, and then you know, we've kind of, the Guernsey cow has evolved and she makes more milk now and she's, you know, right up there with those other breeds, but also her milk has a certain quality about it um, that makes it uh, what we call a, a more drinkable milk. Um, so we've been able to hone in on the cow, what well, like I say, and take that quality of milk uh, and to keep a, a small farm running. Um, I've always had a saying that there's quality over quantity. Well, this is a lot of work. Obviously, you have three young children. Yep. What do you What do you love about this? What <laughs> keeps you going? I know it's, you know it's it goes back to your family too, and it's been in the family for a while, and that's got to be part of it. But yeah, I honestly think growing up in the business, uh, growing up on a farm in general, uh, it, it's uh, something I just really grew to love really quickly when I was young. My grandfather took us to all kinds of shows events, dairy conventions, you know. Um, I don't think he was ever, or even my father, ever kind of really wanted to push us into this direction, but they wanted to make sure it was there in case we ever did want to. So just the the camaraderie of the, the dairy industry as a whole is uh, important and special to me. The early mornings, being alone in the barn is kind of a special time. Mm. I think that's what kind of keeps me driven and uh, that's my think, I call it my thinking time, you know. Just, you know, being out with nature and being in a, a whether it's a hay field or whatever we're doing at the time, um, I've always loved being outside and, you know, being with animals in general. That's awesome. Yep. All right, well, good luck with the Guernsey Girl Cream. I know you're always thinking of other things that you're doing and, and putting out there more products, so it's, it's a lot. Yeah, well, thank but, you. But it's been very successful. Yeah. Thank you for your time, I Ashley. appreciate it.